Whenever I deliver any workshop, the first question that is asked is, how am I doing this? How am I showing my video and the presentation at the same time? In this video, I am going to show you how you can make this kind of presentations using free software. Let's get started. Before I start, let me clarify that this tutorial will only work for those running the Windows operating system. Now that is out of the way, let me introduce you to the Swiss Army knife of software, the OBS Studio, a completely free software that allows you to do a number of things. To download the software, just go to obsproject.com, link in the description below, and download it and install it on your PC or laptop. If you have OBS already installed on your PC, make sure you upgrade it to the latest version, version 26.0, because this is the version that has the virtual camera functionality, and that is what we are going to use to create dynamic presentations. Download the software by clicking on the Download Installer button, and install the software as you would install any other software on your PC. Once you have installed the software, launch OBS Studio and you will get a screen like this. It can seem a little daunting at first, but don't worry, this video will bring you up to speed in no time at all. Just make sure that you can see this button, Start Virtual Camera. This indicates that you are running OBS Studio 26 or above. Think of this area as your canvas, or as OBS calls it, Scenes. We can create multiple scenes on the left hand side here, and each scene can have one or more sources. Let's start with our first scene. As we can see, we have one scene already defined. I can right click on it and say rename and call it, let's say, scene one. In the second box, I define the components of that scene, what should be seen by the audience. Let's start by adding a web camera. So I click on the plus sign, select video capture device and we can give a name to our camera so let's say this is logitech webcam and click ok depending on how many cameras are installed on your computer you can choose the right camera that you want to see by clicking on the drop down and choosing the camera and click ok this is the first part of our scene i can move it around i can make it bigger or smaller or if I want the camera to take up the entire scene, I can right click and choose transform fit to screen. If I want to change the resolution on other parameters of this camera, I can simply click on it. And we have a button here that says properties. And let's say I want to change the resolution to be custom. And let's choose 720p. HD resolution. And now I can see that the video takes up the entire screen. Let me resize the video and keep it at the side here. Now I can add some other elements in my scene. To do that, again click on the plus sign and choose what you would like to add to your scene. You can add images, you can add windows. Let's say I want to show a PowerPoint presentation. Here I have a PowerPoint presentation. Let me put it in reading mode. In OBS, I will click on plus, select Windows Capture, and let's name it as PowerPoint. In the source, I can select PowerPoint Slides Show, and click OK. Now, as we can see, the video is no longer visible. That is because the PowerPoint is on top. What I need to do is I need to select the camera and use this arrow to move it up. And now I have my PowerPoint as well as my video camera in the same scene. I can move it around, I can adjust it, I can make it big or small. And I have created my first scene. If I want to show this in Zoom or any other online meeting, all I have to do now is to click on the Start Virtual Camera button. What this does is it creates a virtual camera in your system. Let me now move to Zoom. This is my Zoom client. If I click on Settings and choose Video, you will see all the cameras installed on your PC. 
the one that you want to choose is the one called OBS virtual camera now when you log into your meeting all the zoom participants will see this view your camera view and your presentation view in the same screen so that was a very quick tutorial on how you can use OBS and the virtual camera facility to create dynamic content in your online meetings in the next tutorial we will look at OBS in more detail till then have fun in your online meetings with OBS and virtual camera.